So a lot of my viewers enjoy learning about fish and learning new things about fish, but I've wondered over the time that they've spent learning with me, how much they've actually learned and how much information they've actually taken in, how many new fish they've been introduced to, how much of the diversity of fishes they've come across. And so I decided to host a competition where my viewers get to apply to participate to identify fish given to them. So basically we have this beautiful bracket here, which can contains nine of my viewers, of my Twitch subscribers who applied to compete in this competition. And each one, each round will be given a best of three. They will be shown three fish and the first one to give me the correct name of the fish or the most specific identification of the fish possible will win that round and move on. It's single elimination. So if you lose once you lose, these are the fish we have to select from. There are 54 fish and we will do a random number generator, one to 54 every time, and that will decide which fish we're gonna be going into. Are you guys ready? Our very first round is Trinity versus Whirly. This will be a bit of a test round because I'm not 100% sure that I'm gonna be, you know, know how to do everything. I suppose I should probably introduce you. Okay, Whirly, Whirly is the person who does the, the Bear Lake video and the Megalodon AI video. So lots of people who watch me should know Whirly because their videos are awesome. Trinity series, I didn't even know existed prior to applying to this competition. So why don't you tell us something about yourself, Trinity series? I am less than 18 feet tall. And if you want to, you can call me a moldy piece of banana bread anytime you want. Um, all right. So I'm going to random number generate first number one through 54, and this will decide which fish you get. Keep in mind it is a best of three. So even if you don't know the first fish, uh, you might still get lucky. There's a wide variety of fish that you could potentially come across. I have everything from like really easy fish that every person, even people who don't study fish know to some, you know, more obscure ones. So it really might come down to the luck of the draw here. So our number is 21, three, two, one, go. First person to reply gets to guess. This is the fish that they are working with. No replies. The most specific you can get. It doesn't have to be the exact species. Okay. All right. Well, Whirly's the first person to reply. You know what, Whirly? All right. All right, Whirly. Let's let's hear what you got to say. Yeah. So I'm pretty darn sure. And and I told you you're not going to believe me, but like this is Shigeru Miyamoto. Right. This is beloved game creator Shigeru Miyamoto. Okay. All right. Trinity, can you get any more specific than Shigeru Miyamoto, the creator of the Mario series? Uh, Just anything. Uh, Literally anything. Looks like a nerd shark to me. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> all right. All right. First round's a tie. First round's a tie. Great. Okay, great. Let's generate another number because these guys are buffoons. Our second number is 25. This is the second fish. So keep in mind you tied round one. So it's one to one. So whoever wins this round will win this round. This comp, you know what I mean? Fish number 25, go. That's your classic run. Okay. Well, you don't have to, you don't have to say, Whirly, you don't, you just type a letter and then you say your guess to me. Oh yeah? Yeah. You don't have to say your whole guess in the chat. I just like to, I like to make sure that I, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm getting a little bit of uh, stuff there. You know, I want to have some, some story around it, you know? Yeah. Great. So what, so could you say your guess out loud, please? Yeah, that's your it's your classic run of the mill sea bass. It is a it is a sea bass. Okay, so sea bass is not specific down to species. So Trinity just does get the uh, the chance to guess. Trinity, this is not a nurse shark, but I was also gonna say sea bass. So they okay. got to it first. That, that's true. They did get to it first, but you still have the opportunity to potentially be more specific. I'll give you about five seconds. Just uh, I got nothing. Okay. Well, when in doubt, uh, when you're trying to be more specific, just say the name of the, just say the color that usually works with fish. This is a black oh. sea bass, but, uh, Whirly is unfortunately going to take the round, which means we'll get more Shigeru <laughs> Miyamoto guesses. Uh, I'm sorry, Trinity. Thank you for competing. All right. Congratulations, Whirly. Thank you very, very much. I'm honored to be here. That, I, the jump from Shigeru Miyamoto to Seabass really surprised me. <laughs> the first guess was I did, so... I did, do a little re I did do a little research. The first guess was so bad that the second guess threw me off. Well, then uh, you're up against uh, Elbow right away. So. Yeah, I'm done for. Yeah, no, you. hey, you could get lucky. Hey, Elbow. Oh, no. Uh, hi. Uh, so elbow our resident uh, fish expert That's the person seated to win the competition that don't put too much pressure on me please. Uh, really the entire fate of the world relies on him winning this <laughs> oh. round so your number is 51 so one of the later ones that I thought of because the numbers are just based on when I thought of them so the later ones do tend to be the harder fish fish number 51 in three two one all right 
No response from either of them. I'll give it five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, okay. Elbow's gonna take a guess. Elbow? Uh, is that a basslet? No, it is not a basslet. And I'm just realizing I'm not supposed to be sending them in here. I'm supposed to be sharing my screen. So I've been stupid so far. But anyways, it's an ornate Bashir. Uh, it's the family oh. Politerity. So you guys are tied one to one. All right, 17. All right, I'm going to pull it up in three, two, one. There you go. This is the fish that you guys are identifying. Corley, what's your guess? I got this. Yeah. I'm very confident. Yeah. You ever seen uh, like trees when they fall down in the forest? Uh, no. Oh, really? You've like never been outside? Um, I've just never witnessed a tree fall down, I guess. I don't know. How is this relevant? No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying one that has already fallen down. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. A fallen tree. Yeah, so this is, um, you see, it's got the fungus on it. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, this is a tree. This is a We're looking at it like a very well carved tree. I'm gonna That's... mute, mute Whirly. Elbow, do you have a guess? El Elbow, do you have a guess? Is that a carp? It looks like a carp. Uh, that yeah, I mean yeah, it's more specific than tree. So congratulations, oh, oh. <laughs> you win. <laughs> it is a oh. common carp subspecies, mirror carp. Uh, mirror carp is technically the most specific you could get, but common carp would technically also be right because that is the species. Uh, so unfortunately, Whirly, you are going to be going home. Is there anything you'd like to say? Whirly. I'm incredibly surprised that this has happened. <laughs> Whirly, can you marry me? Yeah, actually, if you want. Oh, sweet. Um, for, like tax purposes or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Zach, you, you're a registered priest, right? Uh, what? <laughs> what just happened? I was updating the bracket. Should y'all just get uh, married? Whirly and I are marrying each other, yeah. Yeah, we're getting married right now. That feels illegal. Aren't you like 14, Elbow? Whoa! Whoa. Zach! <laughs> Whoa, I'm not that immature, am I? Well. Oh, man. Wow. All right, bye. <laughs> Next up, we have Hinatot versus Kathy. So, Hinatot, you're like an actual marine biologist, right? Kind of. I got my uh, undergraduate degree in marine biology. Okay, that's uh... not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I, I studied work. But you didn't, you didn't study fish specifically. No, I oh. studied uh, polychaetes. Okay, yeah, that's not going to be super helpful here today. Uh, no. I just wrote everything down. Yeah, like Kathy, I think, I think a couple nights of studying the fish list that I gave you would be better than a marine science degree for this competition. So I, I think oh. you're okay, Kathy. Number oh. is 10. You get the 10th fish that I thought of. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, okay, Hinatot with the instant buzz in. All right, Hinatot. That is a hagfish. That is correct. Second round. The random number is five. Damn, y'all got lucky with the easy fish. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, <laughs> I lied. <laughs> I did think of a somewhat difficult fish early on. <laughs> oh, okay. Hina's up with a last minute guess. Yes. Okay, I'll give it a, a go. Is it a, a pencil catfish? Okay. <laughs> did you make that up? Um, is... <laughs> it was one of the families. I don't know if this is anywhere near correct. No, yeah, not a catfish, unfortunately. All right, Kathy, well, you, you get your, your 10, 15 seconds to, to guess. Oh my, it looks like an axolotl on literally drugs. Okay, all right. <laughs> so, can you think of a family that resembles axolotls, or are you, uh... uh... I was prepared for this. All right. <laughs> well, unfortunately, this is a blind goby, so... That does mean that it is a tie, and because Hinata won the first round, Hinata does win. I'm sorry, Kathy. Thank you for participating. That is fine. It's fine. It was nice to be here. Okay. <laughs> Hinata, unsurprisingly moving on, but unfortunately going to be facing off against the the number one seed next round. But I'm interested to see how that goes. Actual marine biologist versus 14-year-old who knows way too much about fish. Surprise, it's actually Angie versus Blue Sticks because Krusty wasn't here. Okay, hello. Angie, are you here? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, perfect. Oh, you're Australian. Sick. All right. I'm fucking British, mate. Oh, <laughs> and I'm racist. Okay, anyways, 12 is your first number. And show the fish in three, two, one, go. Oh, okay. Angie wants to take a guess. I think it on there, so I'll just go for like vagueness. Uh, wow. You are currently a robot, uh, so I can't quite understand. <laughs> just type out your guess in the Discord so that I could I could actually know what you're saying. <laughs> Alright, well then you uh, you'll get Actino Tariji. Let's I'll give Blue Sticks the chance to be slightly more specific. Blue Sticks. I also have no idea, but okay. I'll say Persiforms. Okay. Unfortunately, it is not in the Persiforms. <laughs> The family is Apistonathidae, 
and it is a jawfish. It is the guy that has their little babies and their eggs in their mouth and they spit sand at each other and fun stuff like that. Uh, so I'm gonna give that round to Angie because Actino Terigi. That is, that is the Actino Terigi gamble is you can answer that really quickly and then you're set if the other person knows nothing, but you're screwed if they know something more specific. Round two, your number is 39. Three, two, one, go. Angie has a guess. Yeah, I'm just gonna go with that. Okay, okay. another Actino Terigi guess. So Blue Sticks, Angie will win the best of three unless you can be more specific than a ray finned fish. Five, four, three, two, one, all right, this is a lancet fish. Actually, a pretty cool looking fish. I thought it was fake the first time that I saw it. Uh, but it is real, and it's pretty dope. All right, well, congratulations, Angie. I'm sorry, Blue Six. Thank you for competing. And Krusty is facing off versus Tom. Am I Krusty's voice now? I guess you're Krusty's voice because people are saying Krusty can't speak. Your random number is nine. I will show the fish in three, two, one, go. Tom. All right, so that's some kind of bass. All right. I'm not sure if it's small mouth or large mouth. Okay. That is not specific um, down to species, so I'm going to go ahead and give... Um, Krusty has buzzed in. Sure. What is Krusty like buzzed in with? Uh, it's a pike. Okay. So you're both very wrong, and I can't tell who's more wrong, so I'm just going to call it a tie. This is a, this is a bow fin. Uh, easy way to tell it's not a bass is that it has a singular dorsal fin, not a separated dorsal fin. Uh, easy way to tell it's not a pike is it, it's now it's not pointed. So it is currently tied, so whoever wins this round will win. And you got fish number 15. The fish will be on screen in three, two, one, go. Krusty has buzzed in. All right, Whirly. Uh, gulper. Just the word gulper? <laughs> It's a uh, quote. I think that's the uh, a big ass gulper. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, gulper well eel. 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 Great. All right. That is correct. This is a gulper eel. So Krusty is going to take this round. Sorry, Tom. Thank you for playing. And we are down to our top four. Elbow, the 14 year old who's way too into fish. Hinatot, an actual marine biologist. Krusty, a huge fan of uh, crustaceans who has learned a lot about fish because he really wants to win. And uh, Angie, who's just here to have fun. <laughs> our next round is going to be Elbow versus Hinatot. Hello, gang. Welcome back. Congratulations on making it to the semifinals. I'm kind of not 14. Just no, like I know, but it's really funny to say that you are 14, so I, I do it a lot. Oh. Uh, How old are you actually, Elbow? 17. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so minor is minor. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Random number generator has given you number 43. Fish will be on screen in three, two, one, go. Fish may be particularly suited to a marine biologist. Elbow, guessing. Hello. Uh, I'm just going to say angelfish. Okay. Elbow has guessed angelfish. That is not specific down to species. So, Hinatot, you have the opportunity. I don't know. Reef angelfish? Good guess. Unfortunately, it is a queen angelfish. Oh, okay. So, Elbow is going to take this round. Number two, the second fish that I thought to add to the list. All right. It's going to be on screen in three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, Hinatot has typed the number two. Hello, Hinatot. What is your guess? Um, I am gonna guess... Is this a classic buzz-in but didn't actually know what it was? <laughs> Maybe. Wow. I'm gonna guess it's a Persiform. You're going to guess that it is a Persiform. Well, <laughs> unfortunately for you, it is not a Persiform, uh. I think. All right, Elbow, can you, can you do any better? So part of me wants to just say Kingdom Animalia. Nope, I won't take that. I'm going to say Snook. Snook no is an interesting guess. Uh, this is a Silver Hake. So that is a that is a tie. Uh, I'm going to give the, the special opportunity here because we have a lot of fish that we haven't utilized yet that it's currently two to one in favor of Elbow and we'll do one more round and if Hinatot wins it, then we can have a tiebreaker. Okay. Random number generator has dictated that you will get fish number 13. Fish will be on screen in three, two, one, go. It has an instant W from Hinatot. Is it a butterfly fish? Uh, that is, I believe, not... I don't, is that, a, is that another name? Is it? I, I could I, be getting confused with something I, else. I have to, one second, I have to look it up because I don't, I don't think it is, but I could be wrong. 
let me let me make sure that it's not it's that's not another name for it i'm pretty sure it's not because it doesn't have the forceps yeah unfortunately that is not a butterfly yeah. fish uh elbow would you like to take a guess here yeah uh that's a yellow tang right that is indeed a yellow okay. tang uh the yellow version of the of uh, dory oh from finding nemo Congratulations, Elbow. Hinatot, thank you very much for participating. Game. And we have Angie versus Krusty, as whirly as his voice. All right, fish number 18 coming in. Oh, this is this is interesting. I won't I won't give a hint, but there's a reason that this is interesting. I'm gonna go ahead and show this fish on screen in three, two, one, go. Angie with the instant buzz in, go ahead. It's a long fish. It's a lung fish, okay? Lung fish is yeah. not uh, species specific. So, Krusty, you do have the chance to, to oh, guess. Like a more specific one. Yeah, there are, there are uh, multiple species of lung fish. I'm gonna go with Australian lung fish. Okay, well, technically you weren't supposed to keep guessing, but I'll give it to you anyways. It is an Australian lung fish. And it's interesting, because you're not Australian, and I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up we have 24, three, Two, one, go. All right, Angie. Pufferfish. Okay, Angie has guessed pufferfish. That is not species specific. So, Krusty, you do have the chance to potentially steal here by being slightly more specific. Krusty is spamming puffer, puffer, puffer. Okay, yeah. Krusty. So you're you're <laughs> you're only most likely to uh, you can only get it if you get more specific than puffer because Angie did get puffer first. Three, right. two, right pufferfish. Striped pufferfish is an interesting guess considering there are no stripes on that pufferfish. Uh, this is a northern puffer, is the, the specific species. All right, you've got fish number 35 coming in in three, two, one, go. Um, Krusty has guessed mantis shrimp. <laughs> okay. All right, that's going to do it for us. Uh, this, is a, this is a butterfish. Congratulations, Anji. I'm sorry, Krusty. And hello and welcome to the uh. grand finals. This is going to be a best of five, so I will show five fish regardless. And we'll see who gets who gets the most of them. Elbow versus Anji, how are you guys feeling right now? Did you think you were going to make it to the grand finals? Nope, not at all. Well, you guys are not the first all. and third seed according to the tournament. I didn't really. I don't know why you seeded me first. What do you? You're literally in the grand finals. Shut up. Fish number nineteen will be on screen in three, two, one, go. The instant from Elbow. They both know. So unfortunate. Elbow? That's a bluefin tuna, right? Anji, I'm going to let you make a guess. I'll have to go get bluefin tuna then. Okay. Wow. Well, it was a bluefin, so it was kind of cruel to me to let Anji guess. That's rude. <laughs> it that is, is so rude. It is a bluefin tuna. But the fact that you knew a different species of tuna when you guessed yellowfin is, uh, is impressive. Uh, so that is going to be round one to Elbow. Fish number 32 will be on screen in three two one go okay that's a that's an elbow i'm just gonna say manta ray and then just leave it at that manta ray is elbows guess anji you're allowed to guess it's an eagle ray it is indeed an eagle ray and not a manta ray let's go anji specifically it is a spotted eagle ray uh, but eagle ray is about as specific as you need i believe that's down to genus so all right one to one we've got an interesting grand finals here fish number 44 will be on screen in three, two, one, go. Elbow. Zach. Zach. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. No, you got to say it. You got five seconds, man. Is that the Slippery Dick Ross? This is the Slippery Dick Ross. Congratulations. Jesus Christ, <laughs> Zach. Jesus Christ, Zach. <laughs> Anyways. You're a child. <laughs> I just wanted someone to have to say it. Oh, God. All right, the next fish up is the number one, the first fish that I thought of adding. Fish will be on screen. It's currently two to one in favor of Elbow. Anji, you do need to win this next round to go to the game five. Three, two, one, go. Anji with the instant guess, go ahead. I'm just gonna go with um, cheap hair forms. And in the meantime, Elbow, you can guess. That's not a herring. I'm just gonna say herring. I don't think it is though. I think I have to give it to Ne- I mean, you guess the same thing. Clupia forms are herring. Yeah. And, well, yeah. kind of. Technically, herring is more specific than clupia forms, but it's they're both wrong, so it doesn't oh. super matter. <laughs> uh, this is the uh, Atlantic silver side. It is from the Atheriniforms, which are are not herrings. They are silver sides. They're just uh, little little minnow guys. So because that was a tie, and we're not going to end on a tie, we are going to go to a game five. Three, two, one, go. All 
All right, that is a that is a first from elbow, I believe. Elbow. Okay, I want to say that that is a sand tiger shark. Okay. Angie? I'm gonna say bull shark. Okay. I think that's a tie, because you both guessed specific shark species oh, and neither of you are right. Bar. This is uh this is a uh, uh lemon shark. So we are gonna have another round. Uh so fish number forty-eight will be on screen in three, two, one, go. Alright, Anji. And half beak. Uh you said just a half beak? So that's not down, not not specific down to species. Elbow. I'm gonna say that is a needlefish, and I don't think that I'm right. Yeah. So it is a half beak. It is specifically a flying half beak. So Anji will take the round because half beak is uh, the most specific. Which means we are going to what a, a game seven here, oh, and this boy. one decides it. Unless you guys tie, this one decides it no matter what. Fish number three is a new fish. Oh man. Fish will be on screen in three, two. One. Go ahead, elbow. It's an orange frogfish, right? All right. Bonus after fish some fish. after some quick some quick googling, I do believe that it is an orange frogfish. So, elbow, congratulations! You have won the tournament and uh, one choice of free merchandise for whatever you would like. Thank you, Angie, for participating. You put up a good fight. I don't Angie, think we yeah, expected. You, you scared, dude. Yeah, well, I don't think fight. we expected that great of a fight versus versus elbow. So, good job, GGs, everybody. Whoa.